Okay, I'm here showing off my handmade clamshell well digger. Now, I should start out by saying it didn't work for me, but that's because of my soil at the bottom. It's kind of like a, a really hard packed, you know, one inch minus gravel, pea gravel, and it, I just couldn't, I just couldn't get down in there. So far, nothing I've tried has been able to get down in there, but I really feel like this is a simple machine that could be reproduced at very low cost. So a guy with a hacksaw, nothing but time on his hands, some rivets, you could make this out of out of scrap. It is the body of the the tool is four inch truck muffler, okay? And so I cut off this piece here. It's about you know, eight inches long, and then I slid it in half. I then nipped off those corners there and added here. I added these tabs out of just um, one what was I one by three sixteenths uh, one by yeah probably one by three sixteenths one by three sixteenths bar stock and just a bolt inside I have that same bar stock welded and when they're closed they are welded so that they're one inch above this metal loop now that is just a four inch truck muffler again these things I hammered them so they they expand it out and then one tab fits on the inside one tab fits on the outside when it's all the way open its maximum width is limited by that distance right there so if you wanted a clamshell that opened farther you could easily make one by moving these things up conversely if you wanted a clamshell that could open no wider than dead even you just move this down to where you know you had maybe a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch or even touching straight and that would prevent them from being able to open any farther closing is set by the amount of curl on these inside cheeks right here so it works like an old double handled clamshell post hole digger except instead of the handles you have a rope attached to these loops and that is a piece of just cheap chain that I cut in half Half it's welded on this side, half it's welded on that side, and these two pieces scissor past each other. That goes up to this rope right here, which passes through that back side. This is an old cast plumbing fitting, and grind the galvanizing off, galvanizing's toxic, and that's just a piece of scrap I pulled out of the scrap bin. And you can keep adding both rope and bar. There's 10 feet on it right now to get what you want. And the closing action is really not only very clever, but very efficient. I was I was surprised how well that idea worked. Even better than the clamshell, if I'm honest. Works like a simple lever. You have a fork stick. You take your rope wherever it's at, give it a few twists, lever it against, and pull up. And you're able to exert a tremendous amount of force on the unit with just that simple twist. And obviously it moves up and down the pipe. You have a bunch of rope sticking out the side. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. It's just a fork stick and a force multiplier. <clears throat> a lot of the awkwardness of the stick idea is really because it's not down the hole. So I'm going to stabilize this and hold the jaws open and everything else. In its natural state down the hole, I found that they... They sat like that with the weight, so that wasn't too bad. Although if I hit something, it would try to tip over. Now, I could combat that to some extent by having it so that it couldn't open any wider than the, than the natural resting place. I could see you digging in a soft soil when you hit water. And you drop your plastic casing down the hole, and then you chase it with this thing. And this thing could go down inside your plastic casing, grab a handful, and potentially, even though it's wet, pull up a thing of mud. And the casing walls will prevent that water, hopefully, from pulling it out and just emptying your basket. So, I've run into rocks. There's none I can do at this point. I, I tried it, it didn't work. But I could see, I could see it working if I had different soil. I could see it going down inside my casing, into the water, and think how cool that would be to be able to drop your casing, even if it was five or six feet into the water, 
and then you hammer your sand point down another 10. Now you're 15 feet below the water table and your sand point hasn't gone through a whole lot of abuse. I'm not saying your sand points get a lot of abuse, but what I'm going to drive it into, I'm going to give it a lot of abuse. So, anyways, it's a touch heartbreaking that it, the concept works, but the application failed. So I just was passing it along. Maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody digging wells on a mission trip or something. Maybe you'll find it useful. It's just one of those things you file away in the back of your head because you never know when an idea like that will come in handy. In my application, it failed. It's a huge bummer. I had such high hopes. I envisioned myself putting my casing down deep below the waterline. That would have been awesome. Not going to be the case. But still, it was successful in that the concept works. I will not refine this any farther. This will get taken off and it won't get relegated to the scrap heap. I always I always save my, my favorite inventions, so it'll probably get hung from the side of the barn and years later his children will ask what it is and he won't be able to tell them. Or maybe he will. He's a curious little bugger. He'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, I just thought that could be useful to somebody. Somebody out there needs this idea and it would get them water. just isn't going to be me today.